Mm -hmm. So traditional media was always one way. It was top down, mm -hmm. right? It, it was large overheads. It was foreign bu mm -hmm. service bureaus. Those days are over. The economies have changed. What's happening is uh, media outlets are cutting their costs by hiring freelancers. Mm -hmm. And when they do that, no longer do we have the traditional print, radio, and broadcast mm -hmm. model. It's a multimedia model. It's a convergent model. So even if you run a newspaper, you have to have video, you have to have auto, audio, and you have to have a website, and you have to have this all in a way so that the person can then explore the topic even further, mm -hmm. correct? If you have a radio station, you have to have a website, you have to have photos, you have to have video. Look at NPR, right? You own a, a television station. You have to have a website, mm -hmm. you have to have your videos, you have to have print in there for people to read. No longer is it stovepipe like the way it used to be. So in convergent media, what you're seeing is a whole host of actors coming in to take advantage of what is a $15 billion a year industry. That money is not going to Euromaidan. Mm -hmm. And that pisses me off, that they're taking that and screwing the little guy. So what we're trying to do is get 70% of the profits to go back to the content producer. The oh, man yeah, or the woman who actually risked their lives to get mm -hmm. that footage to you. So I could enjoy it in my comfort of my own home. So this includes Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all sorts of you know, new communities that are popping up. Mm -hmm. Transterra is one of them that I mentioned. Story Hunter is another one. This is uh, to help freelancer video journalists tell the world's most important stories. I encourage you to sign up for all of these. Okay? Mm -hmm. The more you can sign up and get your work uploaded and out, the more likely a publisher will buy it. Mm -hmm. And when I'm not saying it's all about capitalism, not a diehard capitalist, but revolutions don't fund themselves. Right? Mm -hmm. So you, you can take that money and do whatever you want. You mm -hmm. can reinvest it back into your news organization. You can make a nonprofit, mm -hmm. as Euro My Don did. They, mm -hmm. they gave it to the, the families who were um, injured. Mm -hmm. uh, assignment is the other one. Um, there, it's a free online workflow system for journalists. Newsmodo is a platform freelance journalists worldwide can sell their stories. Uh, pitch Me is another online one-stop. You pitch your stories to them, and people will buy it. Another one is um, the free uh, Frontline Freelance Register. I don't know if you're working with them. They're an amazing group doing amazing work with freelancers, providing body armor, providing safety training uh, for activists who are going and filming into these conflict areas. Um, once you move past that new media setup, you get into what I call crowdfunding or self-publication. Um, a number of different outlets are um, all over uh, the internet now, including Indiegogo. Um, it's an alternative to Kickstarter, um, and it's got a much tighter control on what is up. It's much more exclusive, and it's almost uh, all film. Mm -hmm. um, Kickstarter will do everything from tech uh, stuff like what I, I could fund a, a mojo mm -hmm. kit to documentaries. And what's really amazing is they just added a full section just to film uh, Kickstarter mm -hmm. projects for documentaries. And um, so you can put your project up there and, and people will actually fund it um, through you know, five, ten dollars, you know, hundred dollars at a time. Spot Us is a community funded reporting. This is where um, it's an amazing, uh, it's actually through Canada. Um, and it's an open source project and uh, they actually um, get money to, to pay journalists to do important stories that they feel are being underreported, uh, which is really cool. Um, Verno is another one. It provides journalists um, with uh, the tools to raise capital for the creation and production of quality of news. Um, I talk a little bit about helpful tips if you're going to run a crowdfunding campaign. Um, these are some of the, the issues that I would, I would be wary of. Um, I talk a little bit here about Voices for Change. It's a case study where we tried to raise $25,000 on um, Kickstarter for uh, Mojo Kits for Arab Youth. Um, it failed miserably. Uh, we had rewards. We did everything right. Um, we had this really cool video. We had Past Preservers sponsor us. Um, and in the end, we raised $220. <laughs>
It was a miserable failure. Um, Arabs don't give money over the internet. <laughs> they give money in person. They want to shake your hand and they want to ask you questions. They're not going to just give $100 over no. the internet. It's a cultural issue. Um, so crowdfunding is just becoming new and we, we were a little too ahead of the game. So we raised uh, $220 of our $25,000 goal. Um, of that, $50 uh, was me. So we, we can, <laughs> um, and you can see there. Um, so it, it really, again, there's my, my quote from Michael Jordan. And then there's, here's a, some last uh, minute stuff that you probably already know about. Uh, BBC World Service will let you um, upload the content and they'll, um, if it's good enough, they'll buy it. Without a Box is a wonderful um, website that allows you to fill out one film application, film festival application, and then apply to uh, literally thousands of film uh, festivals. This, a lot of people underestimate how powerful film festivals can be to get your video or your workout because once it shows up in a festival, then often it will get picked up uh, um, you know, for television broadcast. Um, CNN does iReporter. Uh, you can upload your stuff straight to CNN and uh, they will use it and uh, publish it. Uh, Contributoria is another one. Uh, it's backed by The Guardian um, and they're doing some amazing things about getting crowdfunding uh, for uh, underreported issues. Um, the T is another one. This is British Columbia's news organization. Um, and, and they've done a, a community uh, style. So there's all these new models that are popping up. I don't know which ones are going to succeed. But never before has a freelance journalist had so many options yeah, yeah. to sell her work. So. Yeah, it was somehow predicted, I think. Yeah. yeah.